Hi everybody, this is Terry from Northwoods Artistry. What I wanted to do is just share with you with some of the tools that I use when I go out into the forest and I'm collecting birch bark. Before you go out, if you're going to go collecting some, check with your local forestry department because some of them have different rules and different regulations what they want you to use. Most of the time it's just as simple as just getting a permit for collecting firewood. So it's really no big deal. Just check with uh, the forestry department, whatever county you're in, whatever state you're in. Very quickly, I'm just gonna go over, like I said, some of the tools that I use and maybe to make your life a little easier when you go in the woods. The first thing that I use is I'm very careful of the wood ticks that are out, especially up here in northern Wisconsin. So I have I use a product that's a, by a limit tick and it's also made by Game Hide. And since I've used these two products here for the pants and the shirt, I've never had a wood tick on me. This is incredible stuff because the way the Lyme disease is right now, if you're out in the woods, you gotta be careful of it. So I would highly recommend a product just like this. It doesn't have to be this brand, but something to watch the wood ticks from. Now, getting into collecting, once again, I never take it off of live trees. All the trees that I get my birch bark from is all from fallen trees or dead trees because the birch bark lasts forever. So what I use is I use a razor knife that I can click off and I can break them. If you can see this, because you want a super sharp tool. And all I do, and I will demonstrate how I take it off the tree here in the next coming video, but I just wanted to have the right tools with you. I use a sharp blade like this because then I can break it off. And in this particular one, it's a very stout, it's very, uh, it's a thicker blade. So it doesn't break so you don't have to worry about sticking yourself. And that's a pretty important deal. And then I have two tools here, is you can pick these up at any hardware store. And what I do is I slice down the tree and I work these two tools around it so I can keep it so that the birch bark will come off in one complete sheet. What I like about this tool is if I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's beveled on one edge. So it can work your way around it and it comes off much easier. You get a nice cleaner job from that. And what I do to carry them with is I just have an old carpenter belt that I can put all my tools in with. You can also see here that I have a pair of pliers. And the reason I have these needle nose pliers is so I can break off so I can have a nice sharp blade because you really want a nice sharp blade when you're cutting this birch bark. And once again, I, this will all make sense to you when you see in the, actually when I'm in the woods collecting bark. And then once you've got a, a number of pieces of bark down and you're in off the road quite a distance, how are you gonna get it out? How are you gonna carry it? Well, this is where my backpacks from Duluth Pack, where they come in handy. These are the packs that I use that go up into Quetico Park. These are canoe parks. Quetico Park, the Boundary Waters, you've heard of Wabakimi Park up in Canada. But what, so what I do is I lay, I wound up, or I shouldn't say wound up, I uh, lay the birch bark down flat, and then I roll it up and I put it into this backpack, flip over the top, and then I can carry it out on my back instead of trying to carry something through the woods if those of you have ever tried carrying through the woods you're getting slapped in the face with all kinds of branches and just everything's in your way but when it's on your back you can go lickety split right through the woods so this is the tools that i use and once you see me using this it'll all come into fruition for you so there it is once again terry from northwoods artistry have a great day be safe out there